Okay, so today's experiments did not all go as planned, but what are you going to do? I tried to do a uh, Twitch streaming of me playing Minecraft. Just as an experiment to see if I could do a, a live streaming of, of a game. Uh, and apparently I messed it up somewhere, so I'm going to have to play with it some. I would like to do some Let's Plays and such. Uh, actually, uh, a let's play with an online game, online D&D game, or, or online tabletop role-playing game, would be pretty ball baller, I think. I think that'd be pretty neat. Um, but, I, you know, I, I gotta get the open broadcast up to work right. Um, so, we'll see how that comes out. Now, I did, I'm almost done with all the math on the base math of the game. So I've been working on the Martian colony game, um, which I'm currently working with the running running with the running title of Surviving Mars. Now um, I, we, I need a better title, but the, that'll do as a placeholder. Uh, I am pretty much done with the base math. I now need to figure out how many modifiers I want, how many items that I want. I don't want to get it so super bogged down that, you know, nobody wants to play it because they have a bunch of things to learn. But, uh, you know, if you do it in a sort of card style mechanic that changes the rules as you go along, much like magic or something like that, it shouldn't be too hard, but I don't want to make it too complicated. Uh, to begin with. I'm going to add complication as I get to a certain point. Um, so I'm looking for suggestions on that. Uh, how, ma how many cards would you expect it to be? I'm leaning towards somewhere in the 60 to 90 uh, possible events and um, maybe five or six improvements you can add to your your base. Somewhere in that range. I don't want to add too much work to it. And the nice thing is once I have a, a, a an established set of things then I can always add stuff later. Come to think of it, maybe I should just come up with uh, you know 10, 15 these are samples of what the events can do. I also need to come up with sponsors. I've decided that I'm going to keep trade goods somewhat abstract right now, uh, and then I may add the comp add the uh, the different trade goods, uh, you know, the differentiation in trade goods later. Uh, my friend Josh came up with a great suggestion, which I will probably add to the add complication stage in the game design process, where the um, uh, part of the, the the choices that you have to make is are you going to go um, fast and loose with potential future problems you know like using dangerous technologies that will get you the, the things that you want now but might have problems down the road like generating a lot of waste that you don't know what to do with down the road um, things like that. Uh, I, I can certainly see a place for that, but I want to add that to the let's add complications level because I think once I have the base events uh, in place and the base additions that people can add to bases, then I'll actually have something that actually looks and sounds like a game. And then I can start adding complications to make it more complex from there. I don't, I want it to be a very simple, easy, basic game to start and then add the complications of choices. I think that is what I'm going for. And my camera is freaking out every time I move my hands. I don't know why. Because I have it set on autofocus. That's why. Okay. Uh, sorry. Technical stuff. Uh, the other thing I'm thinking of doing, uh, it looks like at least two days a week I'm going to be off. Uh, and I've been wanting to add 
back some podcasts, just some audio stuff. So I may make one of my days a week an episode that I'm also recording the audio for a podcast. I don't know. What do you think? Any, any of you people who watch, would you listen to a podcast? Um, I know I have some friends from when I was just doing podcasts and not video that would probably prefer it if I did just the audio. So there's that. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's the update uh, of where I am at on the game um, and on the on the show in general. Uh, Fun Trotten talked about possibly doing some online gaming with some indie games. Uh, Eso Terrorist was the one they mentioned that I had an interest in because I've played Gumshoe once before and I enjoyed it. I actually have. Um, Oh, Mutant City Blues, that's the one I've got. I've got Mutant City Blues. And I think I may have a PDF of Trail of Cthulhu and a couple of others. I'd be interested in doing ESO Terrorists, though. I think that would be fun. Um, so I, I, I may uh, bug him and see if he's still interested in doing that, because it sounds like a lot of fun. Um, beyond that... Um, much to report. I, I didn't get the job I wanted, uh, so good hours are much further away. I'm working on a couple of other job hunting things because, you know, that's what you got to do, I guess. Uh, the schedule's killing me. So, anyway, I'm going to wrap it there, I think. And, uh,. Tomorrow, the new season of Legend of Korra begins. Oh. It's only streaming online, but it's the last season of Legend of Korra, and I I loved season three. Season three was amazing. I was, uh, uh, I have so many thoughts on season three that I want to discuss with somebody in a way that is the you know without worrying about spoilers and such but it it went dark uh in a couple of places and i can definitely see why they said yeah this is only going to be online yeah we're not going to show this on the air i can see why now uh it it is not a kid's show it's a late teen show certainly you know, uh it would fall within the ya literature if it were a book um complete with you know sometimes people die horrible deaths in way <laughs> and yeah some people die in, in in the third season and it's brutal um and you know that's as close to a spoiler as i'm going to go there but yeah it, also the the philosophical basis takes a lot of, uh, of the villains, uh, takes a direction I haven't seen a lot of people do, um, and I was pleased with that. I, I'm pleased that the show manages to ask interesting questions, and I think that's cool. So the next new season starts tomorrow, or later today, as I'm putting this up, but um, yeah should totally go check it out you should check the entire show out it's been amazing from start and it just keeps getting better and my only sadness is that the uh, fourth season is the last season and you know uh i i want i want more of it <laughs> uh, but anyway uh now really that's going to be the last note and i will talk to you guys later bye